There was plenty of damage all over. The wicked winds took portions of the whale mural off the side of the Cleveland Public Power Building. But most of the damage happened to people's homes. Yes, that's News Channel 5's Paul Kiska, who woke up to find a giant tree on his house. He joins us live now from Rocky River with more on the west side damage. And Danita not only uh, woke up with it, tried to go to sleep to it last night. That was impossible with a roaring wind. Here's what happened. It was about 9 or 10 o'clock last night, and a gust of wind not like this one, much stronger, probably around 70 miles per hour, came off the lake about a mile away and blew this tree right into that dorm roof there where my little one was sleeping. The rest of the tree came crashing down here, uh, and, and parts of this fence post covering from the ballpark well across the street, bouncing off the house. Now, not the biggest tree to come down last night, but quite a mess. Down the street here, three doors down, they're cleaning up a huge branch in that driveway. And look at that intersection there at Hampton and Riverwood. That really tells the story. Nearly 20 hours later, it's still there. The intersection's still blocked by dangling wires and a huge tree. I just talked with a police officer. He said the service department has so many blocked intersections, they're trying to get to all of them. But let's show you some of the video. That really tells the story about the damage here in the Lakeshore communities like Rocky River. A long, sleepless night here for people kept awake by that grinding wind. Uh, never forget that. The sound of the trees crashing down, blue flashes from transformers exploding and wires arcing. Many roads are blocked still in Bay Village, Rocky River, Lakewood, Fairview, North Olmstead, and throughout the area. Most damage caused overnight, but check this out. Janess and Selvin thought the worst was over until just before noon today. With the ground soaked and wind still gusting, this huge tree crashed through her garage and smashed her car inside. She is so relieved her kids are okay and that that tree fell away from her house. And then I heard this boom. It sounded like a bomb. And thank God I don't care about my garage. I don't care about my car. I just care that these guys are okay. All right, the power's still out here in many parts of Rocky River. It could be days before that power is back on. It's going to be a cold, cold night for many people. Live in Rocky River, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.